believe you're not creative, I wanna argue that that's not true. What's probably more true is that you're creatively blocked. And in that case, there's plenty of hope for you, my friend. You have the ability to unlock that door and access all of your creativity. Hello friends, I'm Ashley Stahl, career coach, host of the Top 100 Show, the U-Turn podcast, spokesperson, speaker, and best-selling author of the book also named U-Turn. Get unstuck, discover your direction, design your dream career. And today, like most days, in the mood to get creative. So do you consider yourself to be a creative person? As a career coach, I hear from people all the time who claim that they lack creativity, but to me, this can't be possibly true. We're born creative, and yet most of us growing up were taught that creativity is something you either have or you don't. I'll hear things like, I'm not the creative one, my mom's the artist in the family. And yet creativity wears many faces. It can make you into a highly resourceful person, a fashion forward person, someone with an eye for design, someone who sees possibility where others don't, a problem solver, and so much more. Remember when you were a little kid playing with Play-Doh or pretending to be a cartoon character? It's that same creativity that still lives in you. So without further ado, here are five ways to get more creative. Number one, just spend time imagining and playing. This might sound kind of silly, but let's start playing. Work hard, play hard, am I right? As a child, play and pretend came naturally to us, but over time, we began to lose that extra color in our lives. In a world that values constant work and production, it's hard to turn our minds off sometimes. But if we wanna be creative, we must remember how to be. Time off from thinking or doing any type of work is so necessary for our creative seeds to break through the dirt. Take some time to just imagine, just like you did when you were a little kid. Now, I'm not saying to throw on a princess hat or wield a knight's sword, but what I am saying is to sit down and picture what you want your future or present to look like. Really see it, what's there? Get in touch with your senses. What does it smell like? What do you hear? Who's there? What are you doing? What do you feel? What do you taste? Really just get your mind into the moment. This, my friends, is the adult version of daydreaming in a healthy way. When it comes to playing, spend time at least once a week doing something you really love. As they talk about in yoga classes, we all have an inner child. As a career expert who has consulted with so many corporations, I must admit, when I go into a company, I almost feel like everyone is five years old inside. Not in a bad way, but in a way where we all somehow suddenly grow up, start wearing suits, and forget this very real childlike part of us. Whether it's hiking, getting your nails painted, writing, or just spending time with your family, passion inspires creativity. And my challenge to you is to do all of this as unplugged as possible. Technology truly takes us out of the moment and it's our job to get back into the real tangible world. We wanna be immersed in our own creative minds. Every Saturday morning over coffee, I write at the top of my journal, what do you need right now? And I let my inner child write the answer. Last week it was glitter nail polish and funfetti cake, so that's what I got that day. Letting that part of me out is so key for self-expression and creativity. Number two, Do something creative every day. My next tip is to do at least one creative activity a day, no matter how big or small. This might sound hard, but when you tune into all of the creative possibilities in a day, it becomes natural and easy. Maybe you can jam in your seat and sing along to your favorite tunes on your morning commute. Or perhaps you get home after a long day, you pull out that journal and write down all of your thoughts and ideas. Maybe you wanna read a fiction book or do some art, or it could be as simple as doing five minutes of just the visualization that we spoke about. In a professional setting, you could consider brainstorming on a piece of paper or in a group. When it comes to creativity, the world is truly your oyster, my friend. Creative opportunities are all around us if only we start paying attention. And the more we practice, the more creative we become. Once we get that creativity ball rolling and keep up the momentum, it becomes a more natural way of being. Number three, learn from those who inspire you. Just as connecting with others shifts our perspectives for the better, so does learning. When I need a fresh point of view or new ideas, I often jump over to one of my favorite podcasts or interviews. Hearing what successful people have to say is incredibly motivating and helps me gain new ideas. There are so many inspiring people out there, you just need to find them. It also helps to keep learning new creative things you can implement into your life. 
a creative person is really just a curious person who wants to keep knowing more and expanding. Submerge yourself in your creativity. Visit museums, watch plays, attend concerts, read beautiful books. Just as we all should surround ourselves with creative people, we should surround ourselves with creative places to take it all in. Another idea is to take some type of creative course, whether it's online or in person, there is a multitude of courses out there to help light that creative spark in your brain. Check out your local community center to see if there's any creative classes or music classes or art classes. Number four, know what drains your energy. This one's huge. Sometimes fixing a problem is not about finding a solution and bringing it into your life. It's about removing something from your life. Because when it comes to creativity, there are a multitude of issues that can just drain your energy so much that it's hard to think abundantly. It might be our own mindsets that tire us out with negative self-talk, or it could be laziness or procrastination or fear or uncertainty. No matter what the challenge is, notice it and ask yourself, how can I remove this? What am I doing to keep it in place? Creativity isn't always easy. In fact, when we have these mental blocks in the way, it seems impossible. We want to be creative, but we're constantly making it harder on ourselves. It's so important to know what drains your energy and your creativity. What triggers those mental blocks in your head? If your home or your office depletes that creative spirit, go somewhere else, like out in nature or a coffee shop. If talking to a certain person makes you feel tired, consider limiting your contact or setting boundaries. And remember that our energy level can change throughout the day. Start to recognize when you're at your most creative and schedule your creative time for that. For example, research indicates that being a morning person is genetic. Safe to say, I'm not as creative in the morning. You'll find me sipping coffee and staring at the wall. If we're not feeding ourselves with the right energy, no matter how hard we try, we won't be able to access our creative potential. Don't work against yourself, work for yourself. Number five, go outside your comfort zone. If you really want to flex your creativity muscles, you want to go outside of your comfort zone. Novelty is such a spark for creativity. This could be as simple as running a new route on your morning jog, or as exciting as traveling to a new place you've never been. If you enjoy music, try going to an art museum or painting a picture. If you are a writer, try taking a music class. If you're a detail-oriented person, you might want to try contributing more in meetings to big picture ideas. It's all about getting a little uncomfortable, because it's only when we're uncomfortable that we grow our creativity. Creativity. Who knows? You might find a way to use these new skills in your job or other areas of your life. Growing our creativity, it can take a lot of work and practice, but in the end, it's worth it. You're going to become more well-rounded, more happy, and I believe hands down that as humans, we are just born to create. So harness that inner child inside of you and be the creator that you were born to be. I would love to hear from you in the comments. I'm always collecting more tips. How do you get creative? Do you have any tips to tap into that part of yourself? In the meantime, I'll see you on the next episode.